Okay, I'm going to try to make this video as quick as possible. Um, if you were in one of our team meetings, Mr. Malo was going through about how, you know, you might want to back up things that you have on your Austin Public Schools OneDrive on a personal drive, um, just in case you end up leaving the district or in case we decide to switch. That way you have a backup of all of your files. Uh, the drive that most people probably have is a Google Drive, as long as you have a Google account. Uh, they give you like 15 gigs of storage free. So anybody who has a Google account, you actually have a Google Drive as well, which is like your uh, Austin Public Schools OneDrive through Office 365. Um, so in order to move things, it's a little bit more difficult than you might actually think, but you can move all of your stuff pretty easily from your OneDrive and create a copy of it on your Google Drive. And that's what I'm going to show you here. Uh, so real quickly, we do need to get to Google. If you go to Google, it should give you a spot where you can log into your account. So you're going to need to log in. Um, and then if you click on your menu here, your little squares, one of the options should be Drive. So you should be able to find Drive and go to Drive. Uh, and it'll load and my OneDrive will pop up. Hopefully this is all appropriate. Um, and then... Over here, uh, we need to go to our OneDrive. And so if you don't know how to get there, a good place to start would be uh, the Austin Public Schools website. And then from the Austin Public Schools website, uh, right at the very top where it says Family, we can hover over that. We'll get our little drop-down menu. And we're going to go to where it says Office 365. And you're going to log into your account. And you should get something that looks like this. And so from here, you can click on OneDrive. And of course, I would recommend just bookmarking this so you always have easy access to your OneDrive. And there's my OneDrive. Okay, so in order to back stuff up, um, what I'm going to do first is on my Google account, I'm going to create a new folder. So up here it says new. We can go ahead and click on new, and then we can click on folder and make a new one. I already did. It's right here called hello. So I'm going to go ahead and enter that folder. Here we are. And you notice that it says that I can drop files here to upload. Now, unfortunately, we can't drag files straight out of our OneDrive and drop them here. We need to first download these files from OneDrive onto our computer. So in order to do that, uh, what I found easiest is you can actually just copy an entire folder or download it onto your computer. So you can either do it by assignment or you can do it by folder. It doesn't really matter. But for example, if I go into Avid, and I want to bring, I don't know, focus notes. Let's say I wanted all of these documents. You can either highlight all of these or you can just do the folder that they're in. And what you're going to do is you're going to highlight them like that. So you have all of them selected and you can click on the three little dots here and you're going to click download. And you should see a little loader pop up here at the bottom and it has now downloaded all those files onto your computer. Uh, same thing if I go back here you can do the same thing for a folder. So instead of doing the documents, we can just go to the little dots on the folder there and we can download the whole folder. Download, same thing, you're gonna see it down here, okay? Now if we open up our file explorer, which is the little tan folder with the blue bar, um, we see this. We can go to this PC and downloads. And there are those two folders that I just downloaded off of my OneDrive. Now this is where the extra step comes in. It turns out that these folders are zipped. You see the little zipper here on both of them. So what we have to do before we can put the files on Google is we have to unzip the folders. So real simple in order to do that, we're just gonna click on the folder, right hand click, and we're gonna click extract. This thing's gonna pop up, don't worry about that, just click extract. And you'll notice that we have a new folder Okay, and it also popped up right here. It's called OneDrive, whatever. And if you click on it, there's that folder that I downloaded. There's all of my assignments. Uh, same thing if I go to the other one that's zipped. Uh, I don't remember which one I unzipped already. The, the other one. So the same thing with this one. I can right-hand click. I can click Extract All. Same thing, just click Extract. And there we go. It's created another folder. So you can see there's the two zipped ones. We can get rid of those, delete, see you later. And now we have our two folders with the files in them unzipped, right? You can see it's the same files because I did the same folder twice, right? There you go. Now, all you have to do is you just click on it. You can highlight these files, drag and drop to your Google Drive. It's gonna load, it'll show you down here and boom, there you go. All those are now in my Google Drive. Same thing, I can go to my other one 
go in, highlight all of them, drag, drop, boom. Uh, and now it's just asking me, because I have documents with the same name, what I want to do. I'll just click Update Existing, because um, they're all the same documents. I just downloaded the same ones twice. So what you'll have to do in order to get all of your stuff copied, so you have a backup on your Google Drive, if you have a personal one, uh, which I imagine most of us do. If you have a Google account, you have access to a Google Drive. You're just going to have to go through your OneDrive and decide what you want to back up. And like I said, you can either do it by assignments or you can just do it by folders. And of course, the more stuff you have, the longer it's going to take to download them, the longer it's going to take to upload them, right? It, it's just going to depend on how much stuff. If you know, If I wanted to, I could highlight every single folder in my OneDrive, go to those three dots and click download. Okay, um, I would do it one folder at a time, but you could do it that way to save time. And then you have to, once they're all downloaded, you have to extract them all. When Once they're extracted, you can just drag and drop the files straight over into your Google Drive. I would also suggest that if you have become like a really big Schoology user and you have a bunch of stuff on Schoology like I do, where my, basically every single thing I do in my class is on Schoology, what you might want to consider doing is creating a new Schoology account for free, um, just a free one with your, you could use your Google email address, just go into Schoology, create a brand new personal account that's not linked to Austin Public Schools, and you can actually uh, just invite yourself to your other account, and you can take everything you have on Schoology and share it over to your personal account. Same thing, just in case something happens where you lose access, or maybe you do decide to leave the district in the future, um, you will have access to all of your stuff then because you're going to have it all saved on your personal accounts, and it's not going to be reliant on you being able to log in to your school account. I know that was fast. Hopefully you can pause and go back and look at stuff, but that is how you can upload everything from your OneDrive, make a copy of it, and put it onto your Google account for safekeeping. Thanks.